Hello, and welcome to the second instalment of the Quantum Stupid. We're exploring the random hypothesis that stupid is a fractal space. That if you look at any part of stupid, you'll find more stupid inside it. And we're testing that against my counter hypothesis that stupid is in fact a quantum phenomena. And if we look hard enough, we'll find the quantum of stupid. So today I was going to make a completely different topic. However, as I was preparing, I stepped in some stupid. All I was trying to do was to install an FTP server onto a Windows machine. So I go to Google, find some FTP servers for Windows, find that FileZilla is uh, kind of one of the most popular, uh, seems to be legit, I've checked it out. Go to the download site. Okay, click on the uh, download button and well, that's not what I asked for. And you know, this is just irritating. Now, being a security guy, however, I have to check it out because, you know, is this some new scam that I'm not being aware of? I asked for one thing, I get something else. So I do a bit of investigation and I find that, yes, there is a, um, there is a product like this that is legit. But have I got the legitimate version? You see, one of the things that the spyware people like to do to catch people is they take a completely legit piece of software, very often security software, and they re-engineer the code put a back door in it and put it out there as real. A very large amount of the antivirus that is on the net is in fact viruses spread by the criminals. So, you know, going to a website and looking for one thing and being led to get something else, that's just rude. And so that's today's Quantum is Stupid, Switch and Bait. If, you, if somebody comes to your website looking for one thing, don't lead them to another because somebody's paying you. And that's today's Quantum Stupid. Thank you for watching.